Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And inside the dressing room at American Eagle has been highly requested and even I've wanted to do it for a really long time, but I don't live near an American Eagle, but I did make the trek out to one. Um, I do want to warn you, this was like at a change in season, so you know, it's not like the best clothes, but I did really want to check out the fit because I know they've been pretty size inclusive friendly for a while now and they also carry i think up to an xl and i i know up to a size 18 in jeans in store and i know they go even further online and i really appreciate with their airy line that they do like the non airbrush photos and models of all different types sizes and abilities so i feel like american eagle is at least trying but i did find the clothing that i found in store to not be so stylish but again this was at like a change in season so i am gonna do another american eagle inside the dressing room but this one was a revisit after probably 10 years of not shopping there so this was just getting my bearings straight again but i really really want to go back now that i kind of have more of an idea of what my size is and now that it's full-on winter and i can do like winter clothes so without too much more rambling this is my american eagle plus size inside the dressing room hey i'm talking I think what I was trying to get at in that intro is that this visit was more so of a visit to gauge what my size was, so I immediately went for the biggest size I could see, which was an XL. I will leave my measurements down below if you want to compare body sizes to me, just to get an idea of how things will fit you. So the first item I grabbed was a staple piece in any wardrobe, so a flannel button up. And I felt that this was a good piece to start out with because every store has this. So at least you would kind of get what your fit would be in comparison to another store. This wasn't skin tight. You can see I do have a little bit of give under the chest and I stopped the buttons right around my boobs because even if it was the biggest shirt in the world, it would still gap at my boobs. So I did just the kind of the half button up. And by doing that, I had enough room under the boobs and across the back so it wasn't skin tight on me. There was a bit of gapping down my stomach though. Flannels have never looked good on me. They look good on like everyone else, but I truly look like a lumberjack when I put these on, but I did like the color scheme on this one. And here it is unbuttoned, so it looks a lot better this way because the buttons aren't gapping, it's not pulling anywhere. So as a casual top, it works a lot better unbuttoned. This is also a length I would not like on myself. If I had to wear this every day, I would be constantly tugging at it. So this is just not a length that's comfortable on me. Was this the relaxed fit you're looking for in a flannel shirt? No, but it did get on and it did button. But just because it gets on doesn't mean it fits. Next, I figured I'd grab one of their basics and I was immediately drawn to this pink tie-dye. I love tie-dye and these were so soft. So I do like how this looks on me and it was a really stretchy and soft material, but again, it was just kind of not tight, but it was hugging me. When I'm buying t-shirts, I do like them to hang off me a little bit, more of a relaxed fit, and I wasn't getting that with this. This is also a little too short. Again, I like my shirts to hit like mid butt, and this one was sitting right at my hips. So I do wish this had a more relaxed fit because I loved the tie dye, I love the color, and I love how it felt, but it just wasn't fitting me right. Okay, this next shirt is not big boob friendly. Um, I tried and I left my bra on because you know, there could have been a nip slip. But other than that, it was really cute. A nice little fall kind of peasant top. Again, kind of short, actually really short. But I did love the sleeves and I love the color and I love the floral and I do love a tie up boob, but there was just not enough fabric to make this work on a 40D. So the gapping under the tie was way too much. A lot of tie up tops, there's a smaller little keyhole under there, but this was just way too much. You are asking for a nip slip. It was just too risky. You could wear a tank top or a cami underneath, but I feel like that defeats the purpose of having the cute boob tie up. Or you can maybe flip the shirt around, wear it backwards and have that tie up along the back. But for the purposes of this shirt, it wasn't working with big boobs. My apologies, this looked so much better on the hanger. This is hideous, I can't even lie. This looks really bad, actually. Terrible pattern, terrible cutouts, you know, it just was not working. I look like I could be working on a farm in the 1800s. 
but it had that like smocking around the waist, which is just so bad on someone with a body like me, all my weight is right in my stomach. So no matter where I put that, it was just gonna stretch and make me look even bigger. Or even if I wrote it up, it would have created kind of a shelf where my rolls start. So just um, an oversight on my part. Again, you never know till you put it, it on. It didn't look that bad on the hanger. Um, and then I was like, okay, is this a dress? Is it a tunic? Is it a shirt? Who knows? Um, yeah, this is just not good. And I don't like necklines like that. I just feel old when I wear those. Um, this just looks like a bad school play costume. So okay, not the most exciting sweater in the world, but this was so comfy. So just an easy grandpa cardigan. It looks loose as it's supposed to. It has that relaxed fit that you kind of want without looking overly baggy. This was in an XL. So I was pleasantly surprised with this one. Again, that loose fit without making me look three times bigger than I already am. It just has that nice casual look to it. And it covers my butt, which I really like. And this one was so soft. So it's not the most exciting piece in the world, but I really liked it. While I was there, I also filmed me trying on one size fits all items. So expect that video soon. Okay, so those are the things I found. It was only a few items. I did just want to get my bearing straight with my sizing. But while I was there, I did film some stuff with jeans and some stuff with some one size fits all. So those are coming up soon. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I do plus size fashion videos every Wednesday and then some other stuff in between. So I'm really happy you're here and hit that like button, all that stuff. I don't know how to end a video, but I will see you guys next time. Bye.